also on SQL tables presented by edu for sure Here in this video, we are going to learn how to create tables, how to delete them, and how to alter them. First of all, let's understand what are tables. So when you have database, we already learned about databases. A database is the bigger structure. One database will contain various tables and tables will store data in forms of columns and rows. And all these tables will be connected to each other. So connections we will learn later. I'm taking example of this table persons. Suppose I have uh, five columns here. First is person ID, which will store IDs as let us assume one, two, three, four and they are going to be numeric. So I'm trying to say that whatever IDs are here, they will be numeric one, two, three, four like that. So text should not be allowed. Only numbers should be allowed here. Then I'm saying I have a field with the name as first name, which will store text kind of data. I have a field with the name as last name, again text. Then city, again text, then country, again text. Now these that we have, the kind of data that we are going to store, numeric and text, these are called data types. These are data types. So we can create a table using this command, create table. So when we use this command create table, it will help us to create table. And then we will give the name of our table. The name of my table is person. The complete syntax for creating table is we will write the command create table. Then the name of the table and then the names of the column. So after starting the bracket, we will give names of the columns. Column one, column two, whatever columns you have. And then the data type, the kind of data they are going to store. After each column, you need to give comma. So they will be separated with comma. Not with the last one because that will be the last column. Then close the bracket. Let's take example of our table persons. When we create our table, we will write this command create table, name of our table, and in the bracket, I'm saying person ID, the first column, and int. Int is a data type, is one of the data type, which allows us to store any numeric data. So if we define any column as int, that means we are going to store numeric data in it. I will tell you the list of all the data types in other videos when we come on that. But let's for now learn that in this for numeric. Then I have declared all these columns, first name, last name, city, country, mentioning their data type as varchar 255. This means they are allowed to store text. So varchar means text. And when we say 255 in the brackets of varchar, that means the length of the text is allowed to be 255. So 255 is the length. Not beyond 255 characters will be allowed. Let's try and do this in our SQL Server. So I'm coming on that window here. We created database as ABC. Right now, there is no table inside it. So I'm creating a table with the name as persons. I'm writing this command create table persons. Then I'm starting the bracket and in the next thing, let's say person ID, which has to be int, comma, 
first name which has to be value 255 this so that this helps me in my further coming commands i'm putting a comma at the end and then i'm saying last name again value 255 and let it be again value 255 and probably country again value 255 this is my last comma, so no comma. In the next uh, straight line, I'm closing the bracket. Once done, let's execute. execute. F5, I'm clicking on this button. It says commands completed successfully. Let's see. Coming here in tables, we can refresh only this table, not the entire server objects. So just coming here, I'm saying right click, refresh. So I have a table with the name as persons and there is a prefix in front of it which says DBO, database object. So it is going to follow all the rules of database. If I click open this plus sign, it says it has columns. These are the columns. So these are the columns which we created. Now, what if and I want another table which should have certain columns of this table? Let's try. Suppose I'm saying that my data from persons table, two of my columns, first name and last name, from persons table should get copied or should be transferred into a new table. And let us say the name of that table is customers. So when I'm creating a customers table, I want first name and last name to be there also. So why should I write and define all over again when I have defined in other table? Please take a notice that this way we are copying the structure of the columns. We are not copying data inside it. Though as of now we do not have any data, but we are not, if we had, the data will not transfer. So for getting those columns, we will write select command. Select first name. I need first name, comma, last name. Into, and here the name of your new table will come. I want to create a table with the name as customers. So. There is no such table right now. I'm creating one. I'm saying select first name, last name into customer. And from where it should get all these first name and last name column? From my old table, which is persons. That's it. Let's try to execute this command. It is done. Now, if I see and refresh this list of tables, we have this new table with the name as customers. If I click open this, and the columns we have is first name and last name. This is how we can create table. First was creating table by defining the columns. Second is creating tables by picking up the columns from any other table. Now, how to delete? For deletion of any object in your database, it is a simple keyword, drop. I can write drop table and let me drop this table customers, which we have just created, customers. I'm pressing F5 to execute it. It says message com uh, command completed successfully. Now again to check if it is deleted, I will have to refresh the list. Here, can you see this customers does not exist now. It's only persons that we have. Now instead of drop, if you use the keyword as truncate here, if we write truncate table customers, I'm not executing this because I, I have already deleted my table customers. 
truncate means the structure of the table will remain however the data from that table will be deleted so my customers table will become blank that is truncate okay let's see one more thing now probably i need to customize my table i need to customize this table persons suppose i have i need to add another column so when i created i forgot adding the column of uh, let's say date of birth for these people i also need to have a column called as date of birth so i will write the keyword alter alter will help us to customize the table this is your data manipulation language i'm altering i'm saying alter table persons and what is the alteration we want i want to add a column we will give the name of that column which we are adding suppose i am giving the name as dob for date of birth and probably i am saying because i am going to save a date so this should be date kind of column data type should be date when i execute it is done again to check i can refresh this table so right click refresh only for that table now if i look at columns there is a new column added date of birth if i had to delete it then instead of add if i write drop so if you want to delete any of your column instead of add you can write the keyword drop keep that in mind that for deleting anything we write the keyword drop i am not deleting it right now okay what if you need to alter probably i realize that date of birth i cannot keep it as date because some people write it in words so i need this date to be varchar a text date so i'm going to write my statement as alter table persons alter column so in that table what do you want to alter i want to alter the column which column dob and make it as varchar you do not need to make old thing you can just say make this as varchar now if i do f5 it is done can you see here it says dob dob date if i refresh this list of columns now you will see dob varchar it is one character remember earlier when we defined we gave number of characters i forgot giving that so let's say i am saying 50 characters are allowed if i run it and i refresh this list now you will see varchar has become 50 so this is how we can alter the tables so this is all about uh, tables we learned creation of tables we learned how to delete tables and we also learned how to alter them thank you